So now I got into the electronics and assembly of the spider board with the stepper drivers. Here I was masking off the heating pad with some uh, high temperature silicone. That just ensures it uh, stays put a little bit better. Here's the initial layout of the boards. And then I was trying to drain the capacitors on the bottom of the board. Here's the 10 pin um, power to Raspberry Pi with uh, UART. Here's some of the initial cable runs after I'm getting everything wired up from the hot end down. There was a lot of cables to fit through those chains. Um, wiring the power into the power supply, checking for voltage on the DC side, 24 volts, looks good. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and hook up some of the thermistors to test the um, temperature. That read 105 kilo ohms resistance. And then near the end, I broke the pads on the fan. So after I got all that fixed, um, I went and tried to do the quad gantry leveling, which uh, as you can see, worked out really well using that sensor, the Hall effect sensor. So here I forgot to put in the Bowden tube inside the afterburner and I was getting some skip steps on the extrusions, which you can hear the clicking. Uh, I had to disassemble the entire thing and pull all the plastic out before I was able to fix it. So the build is complete. Uh, I still have a lot of wire management to do. And then I finally got the quad gantry leveling working. I got all the belts tensioned. Um, I went and put some of this uh, PTFE lube because I couldn't find uh, white lithium grease. So I put that on all the rails. It's running really smooth, as you can see. It's pretty quiet. Um, I ran into a problem with the fan. Uh, I guess I, my cables, my cabling was a little tight and it pulled the hot end fan or the, the pads off. So I had to kind of like solder it in there. You can actually see where I melted uh, the plastic in there. It's still a bit of a problem. We're gonna to have to probably replace that fan. Uh, maybe we I redo all of it with a new Dragon hot end. I'll do that. Um, the leveling works great. I only have this on here temporarily right now um, until I get the rest of these parts printed. Uh, one of the problems I ran into is the P printer forward parts come with these um, mounts for the I guess chains, I guess, which have two screws instead of three. So what I did was I just temporarily found the center screw and I have that mounted, um, I can't really see it here, but I have it just mounted on one screw right now for the chains. Um, except up here, it did come with a, a three mount for the generic cable chains and over here also where you can probably really see a little bit better. Uh, the problem with the belts was that they were a bit short so I had to remove the idlers uh, to mount them and then I tensioned them. So they're running pretty good. Um, when I wired it, I got everything started from the hot end and I just went down the chain, uh, unsnapping each one, one by one, you know, mounting it in there. I zip tied it in here. I brought the XY end stop up into the run as it continued down and around. You can see it went over. And then it met the AB motors. Uh, which ran across. I don't know what I'm going to do with that cable there. Best way to hide that. I have to figure that one out. Uh, and then all the cables kind of come up one more time on the Z, all the way down. And then they meet the thermistor, the Z end stop, and the um, AC power for the hot uh, for the bed. Back down into the bottom where you can see it's quite a mess right now. But it's the solid state relay is working great. Um, you know, running clipper with uh, fluid. It sends 60% power DC to the solid state relay, which turns on the um, 
220 volt directly to the heated bed. The bed, um, one of the things you may want to consider is I kept these a little loose. I didn't tighten the bed down completely. Sometimes they recommend mounting three points um, so it doesn't taco on you. But I figured if I just kept kept them a little bit loose, if something was going to give, it would be the, the, the screws where they're kind of mounted in there and they can move a little freely if, if need be. Okay, so here's the fluid interface, which is basically your main window into what the printer is doing. You can see the extruder and the uh, heater bed temperatures. Um, you can see the console and commands where you can, I was doing the uh, quad gantry leveling. You can also do that from up here where it says uh, QGL. This is really useful to, you know, kind of move your printer around. Also, you want to make sure you go to the initial uh, startup on the Voron documentation. This is where you kind of uh, home in your your Z, X, Y, and Z motors. And for the V2, there's instructions on how to do each one of these checks, how to calibrate, um, do the homing, quad gantry leveling. So it's really important that you you know follow through with this to get everything uh, located, and then do the you want to do the um, what is it Z homing I think. Yeah, Z end stops, and that you kind of want to baby step it down till you touch a piece of paper and it's just grabbing it. And then you write that to the to the um, firmware. It'll save a copy of it. So here I can see um, on the print I have it says 19 seconds remaining. This is the very first print, which is a Voron cube. You want to send this over to the uh, subreddit to get your serial number. And you can see it's laying down the last couple layers. And we'll see if we get some more detail. Right there. And now we can see the top layer, the top of the layers that are finishing. Done. And this should be powered off. Yep, so the thermals should start going down. And let's see how our forward cube looks. Got it. I'm not crazy about the texture of the bed. I may need to get a better, smoother texture. That's supposed to fit a bearing, and then I'll have to measure this with calipers. I can see I need to fix the pressure advance to get these tether cubes, and then I'll get work on getting rid of those uh, resonances that are causing that ghosting effect. Oh, there it is, a little bit of stringing. Not bad for the first print. Moron.